Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe After Effects CC tutorial, I'm going to show you five of my favorite built-in text effects that are actually super easy to apply, but still look great and will be useful for your projects. So before we begin this tutorial, if you guys are new to the channel and you're not following me on social media, go follow me at Justin Odisho. I love connecting to you guys more on there and sharing behind the scenes, live streams, and all that. So I've got a new blank composition open, so I'm just using a 1920 by 1080 and in order to show you these examples, let's go to layer new text and I'll just type out text effects so I can demonstrate these for you. Whenever you're working with text, you could always go to the align window and you could align it centered or sticking to the top or bottoms, however you like. So I'll keep mine in the center. And now let's open up the effects and presets panel. So here After Effects actually has a folder called animation presets. And if you didn't know, there's a ton of very useful built-in presets that can apply all different types of behaviors and animations to your project. So let's open the text folder specifically and you can see there's dozens and dozens of different types of preset animations. So I've went through here, I've picked out five of my favorites, five that I think are the most useful and I'll show you how to kind of tweak them and make them your own. So the first one's going to be found in the organic folder and it's called Quiver. And if I drag this, you can drag it right onto the text or onto the text layer if you have multiple things going on in your composition. And if we drop down the text layer and drop down the text, you can see there's an animation on it. So this is how we can adjust what's going on with these presets. So this is the wiggly randomized animation. And when I press play, you see what it does. You can see it wiggles each character individually to have a little bit of a kind of quiver and shake to it. And there's actually a few things we can adjust. So if we drop down the wiggly menu, we can adjust the strength of it. So the max and minimum amount, the closer those get together, the less there's going to be wiggle. So you see if there's only a couple percent difference, it's a lot more gentle and wavy. And you can also adjust if it wiggles each character individually, or if you want it to wiggle each word individually. So you see in this case it wiggles text and then effects. I personally think that characters wiggle looks cool. But you can also increase the speed and a whole bunch of other things. So this is going to be important to note going on to the other four effects is that you can always drop down these menus and adjust things to your liking. So that's the quiver effect. It's really useful. And another one that I think is really useful that you should know about is the, it's called Jiggy. And I'm just using the search bar here instead of going to the folders this time. But you'll find it in the blurs text animation presets folder. So I'll delete this wiggle and now let's add this one. I'll show you what this does. So Jiggy gives you kind of like that earthquake shake effect. I've showed how to do it in a Premiere Pro tutorial, but this is all built in right there for you. It just generates these shakes, which is one of my favorite effects. So again, you can drop down the Jiggy animator, open up the advanced tab and you can lower the strength or amount of the blur if you want. And also you can see that this is based off an expression because if we drop down the blur menu, you see what's going on here is the amount of blur is being determined by this wiggle expression. And so that's a cool strength of After Effects that it could randomly generate different things based on some basic expressions and code. So I have another tutorial about counting numbers up. So you could check that out if you want to see some more ways that you could use expressions. So the next effect that I'm going to show you guys is the typewriter effect where one letter pops up at a time. So let's search for typewriter and this is actually going to be animated with keyframes. So wherever your cursor is at, when you drag the typewriter in, it's going to place two keyframes a couple seconds apart. So if we drop down this menu, drop down the range selector, you can see there's a keyframe here. This is the start. And then you can see when it plays, it acts like a typewriter. Each letter gets played one at a time. But if you stretch out these keyframes, it'll take longer to play. And if you bring them close together, everything will appear much more quickly. So that's how you can do a one letter at a time typewriter effect. And of course, you have your advanced options for this one too. You can make it type one character at a time, one word at a time, one line at a time, whatever you want to do. So that's a cool way to automatically do those animated text reveals in After Effects. Now the next effect is going to be a flickering or strobe type of effect. So if we open up the animations preset under the text folder, you can see that there's a folder called lights and optical. So if you open this up, there's a whole bunch of different flickering and flashing light presets. But one that I really like is called fluorescent light. 
So if you click and drag this on the text and you press play, you can see it kind of just flickers almost like a light bulb that's about to go out. By the way, a quick tip, if you guys ever press this grid button on the composition menu, you can toggle the transparency of the background. And that's a good way to know if what you're seeing is actually becoming transparent or if it's just matching the black or whatever color of the background. So you can see this is truly transparent flickering of the text. And you can also go into the advanced settings here, adjust the timing of it and the amount and all that. But there's a whole bunch of other cool ones in the light and optical for you to play around with. And this one is called Flicker Color. Another cool one in this fill and stroke presets menu is Rotate Hue. And if you click that and press it on your text, it'll basically just create this strobe effect of colors where it's rotating between a certain amount of hues. But you can see the two keyframes are here and that's when it stops switching. But that's a little bit of a bonus one. Finally, for my last pick, I like the bad TV effect. This is actually an image effect preset, but you can apply it onto the text in the same way and get a sort of a glitchy TV effect, which if you look over here on the left hand side is built up off of a wave warp, a box blur, and some Venetian blind effects. And all of these are actually available in Premiere Pro as well. So take note of how this specific preset is being built up by this combination of actual effects. But there's three different strengths to this one. There's warp, old, and weak. They're basically just three different variations of the same effect. But that's a cool, useful one that you could use and tweak on the effects control panel in this case, where you could tweak the amount of the lines or the speed of the warp to customize it to your liking. So go through, play around with all these and see what After Effects has to offer. And let me know what you thought in the comments below, which ones were your favorite or if I missed any of your favorites. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for all of my new future videos and check out the playlist on my channel for more tutorials. You can reach me on social media at Justin Odisho. Love to connect with you guys on there. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.